Let us now take a look at some applications of joins. So first of all, let's see how we can plot the airports, right? So we know that the airport table has the latitude and longitude of each airport. So as a first shot, let's just plot each airport as a point, okay? So here there's no join involved, but we are introducing this function called quad quick map. This is again part of ggplot. ggplot internally uses another package called map and does the plotting. It's capable of plotting latitudes and longitudes. Okay, so we've got airports and this time we are ggplot. On the x-axis we put the longitude, on the y-axis we put the latitude. Okay, so every airport has a latitude and longitude and we are simply plotting that. And we are saying borders state geom point. Okay, now when you do, uh, when you plot any map with borders state, what it does is it plots a map of the United States and shows the borders of every state within the US. Okay, so since, you know, the US is sort of the default, of course, there are uh, functions, uh, ways by which you can plot maps of other countries and so on, but then you'll have to mention the name of the country explicitly. US kind of gets bragging rights by being the default. That's what's going on here. Okay, so we are saying ggplot aesthetic longitude latitude x axis has the longitude y axis has the latitude and put a map of the United States showing the borders of every state plot each latitude longitude combination as a point and put it all on a map with the coord quick map function okay so what is happening here literally is that there is one point for every airport in the airport table Okay, but since the points are all kind of overlapping, notice that each point is pretty big and the land mass of the US itself is shown not very big. So because of that, the whole uh, country pretty much is blacked out simply by the points. We did not fill anything, but it still came out that way. Okay, so as a next step, what we would like to do, of course, is we might want to get rid of all these you know, what are these airports doing in the map, uh, you know, when it comes to a list of all the U.S. airports? Well, the airport table contains information about all U.S. airports, including perhaps several airports in military bases and maybe other territories like Guam and so on, right? So what we might want to do is to filter this out and plot only the airports which are, let's say, in the mainland USA. To do that, we might want to filter out all the airports that actually occur as destinations in the flight table. After all, the flight table contains information mostly, I think, about uh, commercial flights carrying passengers, not military flights and so on. Uh, and therefore, we might want to filter uh, the airports list only by destinations that are in the airport table, uh, in the flight table. Okay, so we might want to plot only the destinations which are in the flight table. And to do that, we might do something like this. Airports, right join flights. We could have just said inner join flights. Uh, doesn't matter right join, right? Because essentially what we are trying to do is to eliminate airports that don't occur in the flight table. Okay, so that's why I said right join. We could have said inner join. And then we are mapping, uh, matching of course by FAA equals destination. Right, because we want to consider only those destination airports which are in the flight table. That is, filter the airports to contain only those that are destinations in the flight table. And we are doing the usual plot, right? So when we do that, you notice that all of those uh, extreme airports to the east have vanished. But of course, we still have some other uh, distant airports that is the one in Alaska, Anchorage, and this is uh, the one in Hawaii, right? Uh, so we've got this. Now if you want to see the, uh, so now you can see how the boundaries of the states are quite clearly visible. And we might want to uh, further filter this to include only the uh, airports in the lower 48. Okay, we might want to do that, the main 48. We'll come to that, but what you will notice if you run this code, 
is that this code takes a huge amount of time to run. Okay, Now that is something that is interesting for us to understand. If you run this code, it will take a long time to run. Uh, so let's think about that a little bit. Okay, So what is going on is here we are saying airports, right join, flights, etc. Okay, So how many rows is the result of this join going to have? So we know that the flights table has about 337,000 rows. Okay? And of course, each of the destination airports in the flights table will also be in the airports table. It's only that the airports table has extra rows which are not present in the flights. Okay? So because of that, the result of this join will also have 330,000 rows. Okay? And all we are doing is we are just plotting the latitude and longitude from the airport's table. Okay? But we are plotting 336,000 points. Okay? So what is really happening is that many of the, each of these points is actually over plotted heavily. Right? Because we are plotting 337,000 points but there are only about 100 distinct points. Right? So each one of these points has been plotted many, 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 many times over. So, for example, if you take a look uh, at, let's say, uh, the, the Miami airport, that is probably the Miami airport down here, right? So, it is showing only one point, but out of the 337,000 flights that are in the flights table, several thousand of them must have gone to Miami, okay? So, each point here is actually the result of several thousand overplottings. So, that is why we are, instead of plotting only the 100 airports, we are actually plotting 337,000 different points. Okay, so we can make this code far more efficient, okay, by not, uh, by filtering this appropriately. Okay, so to do this efficiently, what we are saying is filter FAA, okay, that is we are taking airports and we are filtering the airports table based on only those if FAA is the column name in the airports table for the airports. Right? We are saying consider only those airports which are in unique flights dollar dest. That is, take the flights table, take all the unique destinations and retain only those FAA columns which are in this list. Okay? and then you plot it, it will come back instantaneously. Right? That is because now we are only plotting a hundred points. Okay? Now this is really, uh, I think it merits a lot of careful attention. So if you go back to the previous code, look at it very carefully and think about why we are plotting you know, 337,000 points there and only about a hundred points here. That's very important for you to understand. So pay attention to this particular piece of code. Right? So here we are taking the airport stable Okay, which has far fewer rows than, uh, than the flight table and we are further filtering it to only contain airports that appear as destinations in the flight table. Okay, so that would probably leave only about 100, 102 airports and we are plotting only those. So this plot will come back instantaneously whereas the previous plot may take actually a minute to, to come up. Okay, so this is much, very much faster. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's try to get the plot of only the mainland uh, USA airports. So to do that, what we want to do is to remove Anchorage and Hawaii. Okay, so uh, HNL, which is Honolulu, and Anchorage. We want to leave them out. So we do that by saying airports filter this, and also FAA not equal to HNL, FAA not equal to A and C. That is Honolulu and Anchorage, we are leaving those as well. That is, you know, you can retain only those rows which satisfy all these three conditions. That is, uh, the airport code belongs to the destinations and it's not equal to Honolulu, not equals Anchorage. Okay, so then we leave out the airport codes for those two uh, distant things, Anchorage and Honolulu, and then we plot it and we get only the airports in the mainland USA. Okay, so again, what I wanted to do with this is to show you some examples of plotting with maps as well. 